So now we've leveled up in hardware. We're still using Streamlabs OBS to layer myself in front of my slides, but now I'm using a Sony A6100 camera, just a, a $700 mirrorless camera to replace the webcam. You'll notice that now I can wear the same shirt and I don't have as many problems with looking vampire-y, twinkly, fuzzy. The better camera gives OBS a better shot at separating me from the background, so especially in different lights. I, I start presenting usually around 5 a.m. San Diego time before the sunrise, so my room is very sensitive to lighting. I've got a whole wall of glass over there. As the light changes through the course of the day, I don't have to readjust a bunch of settings, and I don't have to worry as much about the shirts that I wear. I can have more flexibility in terms of light and dark colors, too. All black shirts would give the Logitech Brio fits because it kept trying to adjust the white balance. The other thing that you'll notice is I'm using my DPA Define headset now. The nice part about this is it lets me walk around um, and that's going to come in handy without any cables. It's going to come in handy in a second with another trick that I'm going to show you. So right now, I'm doing the same thing I was doing before, just layering myself up on top of slides, but I've also layered up a little in terms of the keyboard gear that I use. I'm using an Elgato Stream Deck, which just has a, a little fancy pants uh, LED screens on the keys, so when I hit keys, I know what they're going to do. Like, let's go switch over to a demo. I'm going to escape out of PowerPoint, and I'm going to hit a button to go switch screens. And now all of a sudden, I'm over here in SQL Server Management Studio on a different window on my computer. And then I can go in and I can run queries. I can kind of treat it like the weather person where I can move around as I move things around on my screen when I want to explain something to folks. I can say, well, all right, as you see here with the uh, index seek right here that's estimating a certain number of rows versus the key lookup, da 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 da, uh, it makes it much easier to play weather person, especially depending depending on how you set up your different monitors. Like right now, I can see myself over on another monitor, so it makes it much easier to point at specific portions of the execution plan. Now, my camera angle only goes so far, so if I continue to go across, ah, it's eating my arm. Now, this all comes down to how you decide to position your camera and how wide you want the field of view to be. You could go all the way across the screen if you want. It just makes it tricky in terms of where you stand and where the camera goes. So speaking of where you stand, there are all kinds of other tricks that you can do once you start with this. For example, I'm going to say push a button, and now I have a different angle. Normally, this is where my students are putting chat messages in over in the black window there. This is another trick with OBS where they can layer in different things. Notice that now you see my background. You're not actually seeing my live background. My green screen is behind me. It's just that I'm using a photo of my office. So it looks like you're seeing my office here, but of course that could be any photo that you want behind you. I just like using my office because then as I switch back and forth between different camera angles, then it just looks amazing in terms of the different production quality. All software-wise, this is still just Streamlabs OBS. Now let's take it up one more level. Remember how we started out this journey with a Logitech Brio webcam? Well, I still have that webcam, and I can use it for other things like other camera angles. So if I touch a button down here, I can switch over to a different camera angle. So now I have a webcam sitting on the side of my desk. That's where the Logitech Brio went. You'll notice the quality isn't as good. The quality's nowhere near as good as the full-blown Sony camera. But it just brings such a different level to life when you're having different discussions with students. This ep the th problem that I'm dealing with here is a classic problem for cameras. I have a very bright background, and I have a, a kind of darker foreground. Normally, I would get washed out. So when you want to do tricks like this, you have to manually adjust the exposure on your webcam. Now, Logitech makes this easy enough. They have a little user interface where you can go adjust the exposure of your webcam with a slider. But when I want to do that, I can't rely on auto exposure because it'll just instantly wash me out. 
Um, but it's, it's so nice in terms of giving people a different angle to my office and a different way of thinking. The stuff along the bottom, of course, is also involved with my Twitch stream. So I mentioned that Streamlabs and OBS are focused on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. You could put different things across the bottom, like your most recent followers or the most recent chat messages. Normally, the thing over on the left there is a streaming list of chat messages because I use this camera angle to interact with the students when we're having longer chats. Other things that you can do, I run sponsored webcasts, so I can also set up other screen or other uh, uh, scenes. Notice that now the webcam angle is even wider, so you get it's more of a behind the scenes kind of thing. When I'm talking to folks about this week's sponsor, I like using stuff like this because it feels more intimate and behind the scenes. Like the students are really getting a feel for here's my ring light, here's the camera that they're usually seeing me through, the, my keyboard gear and the coffee that I drink from down on the desk, all that. It really makes them feel much more like they're getting a behind the scenes type thing. Then whenever I want to go live, I can use my little Elgato Stream Deck down here to push a different button, like I'll switch over to the uh, RDP or the VM uh, button. And now I'm back over to my main camera, uh, hovering over my SQL Server Management Studio. So the more time that you invest with Streamlabs OBS, you can set up different scenes. For example, you heard an effect when I switch from one scene to another. You can go get those kinds of effects from Streamlabs. And it's all, uh, well, I was going to say free. It's free with a uh, Streamlabs Prime subscription, I think they call it. It's like 12 bucks a month, where you can get different transitions. Those are called stingers that have all kinds of different effects. And the background. So like you see how when I switch over to this guy, when I switch over to this guy, there's this little kind of moving effect in the background. This is also a theme that Streamlabs will get you once you go up to your Streamlabs Prime subscription, which is like 12 bucks a month. There are all kinds of different ones that you can choose from. I find that they're really aimed at gamers more than they are professional educators. So they tend to have a very aggro feel to them, you know, all kinds of wild, colorful effects. I'm in the midst of commissioning one just for myself that's much more reflective of my own brain. Uh, so as opposed to the ones that look much more like gamers. So that is the combination of Streamlabs OBS to do all this magical production stuff, which Streamlabs OBS, you can get started for free. Their $12 a month uh, prime type thing is about all the fancy effects. You could build your own or download your own from other places. Streamlabs just makes it really easy to do. Streamlabs works on both Windows and Mac. It's just that it's only targeted at streaming outputting to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Um, I've upgraded the camera to the Sony A6100 now, and then I've got multiple cameras because I'm still reusing the old uh, Logitech Brio. Going forward, my next logical step, as I, I'll switch over to this guy. Going forward, my next logical step is to switch this, the Logitech, Logitech Brio, out for something with a dramatically higher resolution and better exposure so that I have already, so that I can uh, do a better job of having this camera to angle, which right now is kind of fuzzy. I'm not particularly happy with, but it's just having this extra camera angle brings so much more life and festivity to it. So there we go. There is the, the great streaming setup in terms of multiple camera angles, nicer front end camera, no, nicer Sony a6100 to pick out things like the green screen shirts way easier, and a DPA defined uh, headset. So, oh, I, I almost didn't mention one of the beauties of the headset now at this point, you can kind of see I can switch from camera to camera and I don't have to worry about hovering my mouth directly over a microphone.